Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've done several videos on tessellation, and I'm waiting for my last video to load with the dog and the cat. So I thought I'd just really quickly, for somebody that hadn't seen the tessellation, to see how easy it is. I've drawn a perfect square that's 12 by 12. I've cut the dog's head off, and I'm going to use that node to snap it to my box. Now I'm going to set my nudge distance on 12 inches because that's the size of my box. I'm going to make a duplicate of that. I'm going to control D and I'm going to put it over there. But then I'm going to also take this again. I'm going to make another duplicate because I want to use it a little bit later. And now I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line and that line. I'm going to go ahead and use the smart fill tool to fill that in. And what that does that seals all my joints like a weld then i'm going to left click right click and the the idea of his tessellation and i'll show you in just a second we're going to rotate this guy 90 degrees and i'm going to do the same thing with this dog's head again let's zoom in a little bit i'm going to grab that outer node and i'm going to put it right there control d move it over I don't need it anymore. I don't plan to use it, so I don't have to make a duplicate. Take the virtual segment delete key and do that. Now, and I should have really probably done it the opposite way. Um, let's just do that real quick. Let's flip this guy around and let's put his head coming in this way this time. Control D. Move it over. That's really the same effect. Doesn't really matter. Let's use the virtual segment delete key. Delete these. Let's go to our smart fill tool again. I'm going to set it on black this time. And I'm going to fill that in. Now the idea of a tessellation is to fit the tile continuously into their own shape. So, what is so nice about this, this is 16 point, you know, you could set your nudge distance on 12, but that wouldn't really work. You could set it on 16, but it's so easy to do this, control D and make a duplicate. And I'm going to grab that node right there, and I'm going to put it there. And you can see where we're going. Control D and make a duplicate. I'm going to grab that node right there and have it snap to there. You could keep going with this forever, and we're going to smart fill it. To, if you use different species of wood, we'll just use some different colors. Let's fill this in with yellow. Let's fill this in with red. And if you use different species of wood, you know, from a mahogany to a walnut to a maple, I've done this before, and it's a really cool effect. And if you did that for a whole sheet, uh, you could. I actually made one for a veterinarian one time like this. Now, to make the border to, to seal this up, let's just group this together. Control G. Let's put it in the center of the page. It's a little bit big. Let's zoom in here. Let's make it a little bit smaller. And since we've grouped it together, I can do this. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. It's roughly 17. But so I'm going to make this one 19. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And then what you can do is take your smart fill tool and fill that in. We wouldn't want to use blue because we've lost our drawing. We we'll use black this time. And there's my border. So you could take this away, left click, right click, and there's your wood border for your plaque. And then you just cut these out of different species of wood. I'll ungroup this. Of course, you don't need the fill. So we're going to left click, right click, and there we have the different. I actually had another copy. 
if you take these four, and you really only have to use one of them because they're exactly the same. But if you would cut one of these out of walnut, one of them out of maple, one of them out of cherry, one of them out of mahogany, or or even plywood and stain it, you know, before you glue it in there, it's a pretty cool effect. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.